Uh, Gary, yeah. Uh, hi there. Um, you make uh, an interesting comparison in your video. Uh, human beings are compared to monkeys and then cockroaches, with cockroaches sort of being closer to what you believe human beings' nature to be. Um, I was I just wanted some clarification on that. Now, I'm not being facetious here. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that I assume that everything that you, that, well, you know, within the bounds of common sense, that what you say is essentially what you mean. In other words, if you insult me, it's not meant as an insult. If you call me a, I don't know, fucking asshole or something, that you're not sort of doing it just as a gratuitous exercise. You're actually saying that you sincerely believe that in some sense I warrant that kind of a title. Um, and that, you know, the term fucking asshole means something. There's an actual point to you calling me this. And I, I mean this. I, you know, it, it's it's a way that I'm sort of... Uh, it's a method I'm using to come to terms with uh, your methodology. So I assume sincerity, and I tell people, just overlook the, the look what looks like potty mouth. Uh, just read between the lines and just assume that that's a sincere position. So, okay, I don't think that you actually believe human beings are monkeys or cockroaches. I think that there's obvious differences between us. But I presume that that is in some sense reflective of your opinion of humans' fundamental nature. Again, it, the assumption is sincerity, that you're somehow, in some way, that monkeys or cockroaches thing reflects what your opinion is of the human race. Now, um, I'd like you to clarify that. Um, what, in your opinion, is the fundamental nature of the human being? Um, I'm not asking for a genealogy or where we came from or you know where we evolved from or whatever. I'm asking you what is our fundamental nature? What are the things that make us what we are? Um, I would say, I would ask you, um, are we good or bad influence in the cosmos? Are we, uh, what are our, what, what's our fundamental nature? What, what, how do our, you know, what are our normal emotional drives? Um, what, uh, what's the value that you can place on us? In other words, what are those aspects of us that define us as humans? Um, and in particular, what aspects do we have that lead you to the comparison that you did, that you made, uh, again, allowing for hyperbole or you know just the usual cut and thrust of YouTube, what are the aspects that sort of lead you in that general direction of categorizing us in the same uh, category uh, as monkeys and cockroaches? Now, I want to clarify that because um, the subject that I'm dealing with here is guilt, and there was a sort of a three-line little formula there that you said that you didn't quite get, or maybe I wasn't clear or whatever in the comments of the other video. And essentially, what I'm trying to get at here is um, if human beings have a fundamental nature, um, is it reasonable to expect us to act in a way that is fundamentally um, inconsistent with that nature. Now, um, I wouldn't say that there's anything wrong with expecting us to sort of be better than what we are. Um, that's, you know, that hope springs eternal, that sort of thing. But if we are, say, I don't know. If we are an A, is it reasonable to get sort of judgmental of us? If we cannot be, we can't find it in ourselves to be a B. <laughs> um, is is there any point in me judging a mouse for not being able to pull a plow that's designed for a horse? In other words, can we hold something responsible? for not being something that is not consistent with its nature. 
That's where the guilt comes in. If we have characteristics that lead us to be compared, even if you know somewhat facetiously and uh, with poetic license, to cockroaches and monkeys, and yet when we behave like cockroaches and monkeys, is it consistent to judge us for it? It's the old line from um, The Merchant of Venice, Thou hast called me dog, um, even though thou hast no cause, since I am a dog, however, beware my fangs. Uh, it's Shylock from The Merchant of Venice. Um, is it reasonable to expect a mouse to pull a plow designed for a horse? Is it reasonable to expect human beings to be other than what they are? And even if it is reasonable to expect us to try, is it reasonable to judge us for failure, or even to suggest that we're not trying hard enough. <laughs> How hard is it reasonable to ask us to try to act contrary to our own nature? When does that spill over into just guilt? Fundamental, existential guilt. You are something, you're not trying hard enough to be something beyond that. <laughs> that is guilt. There's just no other way to see that except guilt. That's why I'm harping on the guilt. I just don't see any other way to look at that other than um, setting an expectation that it is not reasonable for humans to meet and then judging them for not having met that expectation. Recap. We are compared to cockroaches and monkeys. Presumably you're sincere. What do you mean by that? And if that's not an accurate assessment of your position, uh, uh, here's your time to retract. Retract. What do you believe is the fundamental nature of the human being? And do you expect us to be something other than that? Thank you.